The first thing you want to do is you want to go to the game banana link in the description to download it there or get the source code from GitHub. Once you have it downloaded and extracted, launch the xdxengine.exe. Now it may take a good while to load, so keep that in mind. The engine will be full screen by default. To change this, go into Options Video and change the window mode to Windowed or Borderless. To open the chart editor, go to Options, Modding, and then Chart Editor Alpha. This may take a bit to load too. Now that we're here, we can begin charting. You can click the button on the left to import an existing Friday Night Funkin' chart, but it's not required. Use the buttons on the bottom to import audio, toggle waveforms, and change volume. Left click and drag the center waveform to scroll up and down. You can also use spacebar to play and pause. This chart editor uses three tracks of audio. One for enemy vocals, one for the instrumentals, and one for the player vocals. Be sure to remember that the chart editor only reads 16-bit or 8-bit mono or stereo wave files. Anything else just won't load. Also, the waveforms can sometimes take a good while to load. If the editor freezes when you load audio, that's why. Here you can type in the tempo of the song. Shift left click drag to zoom in and out. Also, this editor has support for decimal beats per minute. You can also set a snapping offset in case the grid doesn't line up with the song. Press left click to place a note. And right click to delete a note. You can disable snapping to place notes completely freehand. Press shift left click to make the above note into a hold note. If the above note is already a hold note, it'll change the note's length. Please, please keep in mind that this is literally the first alpha version of the editor. Alpha 1.0.0. So there's a lot of bugs, missing features, and things that just don't entirely work. Rest assured that I'm going to update this editor and tutorials for it regularly as it gets more use. Please report any bugs you find to the Game Banana, GitHub, comments, or my Discord. Oh, also, just a heads up, there is no undo. After we're done placing notes, it's time to export the chart. Press Tab to switch to the Export Editor. Here you can edit the data that your chart will export with. Click the button with curly brackets to import the data for a Friday Night Funkin' chart. If you imported a chart at the beginning, there should already be chart data here. This step needs to be done because Friday Night Funkin' chart files actually store more than just the notes. Such as which BF sprite to use, which background to use, which enemy sprite to use, and so on. Click the Note Array Target text box and press Enter. You should see the chart data update with Notes will go here, where the notes are. Now you can also see all of the other chart data that the game uses. And it can all be freely edited here. Click the button with a note in it to export the chart. And now the chart is done. <laughs>